Christians have heard of St. John of the Cross's famous book, The Dark Night of the Soul. But if you've ever actually tried to sit down and read it, you might have walked away a bit confused. It can be a difficult book to work through. So what exactly is The Dark Night of the Soul? How do I know if I'm undergoing The Dark Night? What am I supposed to do when it happens? In this Bible study, I tried to unpack St. John of the Cross's teaching by looking at what he himself considered to be the key to understanding the Dark Knight, namely, sacred scripture. St. John of the Cross was one of the most biblical theologians the church has ever produced, and he himself said that all of his teachings came from the pages of the Bible. So in this Bible study, what I'm going to do is walk you through John's teaching on what the two nights were, the night of senses and the night of the spirit, and try to show you where he himself found them in the pages of sacred scripture. We'll look at how to know you're going through the dark night and what to do when you're undergoing it. And perhaps most important of all, we're going to look at why God allows Christians who are making progress in the life of prayer to undergo these strange experiences of dryness in prayer and of a sense of God's absence even at certain points. And what we'll see is that the dark nights play an essential role in spiritual development and in spiritual growth and that they are in a sense a kind of purgatory on earth that prepares us to meet God in heaven. So if you've ever experienced dryness in prayer or difficulties and distractions, or if you felt like even though you're being faithful to the spiritual life and to the sacraments, that God is absent somehow, then this Bible study is perfect for you. The knowing and understanding the reality of the nights of senses and spirit is a very important part of the spiritual life. And I hope that you'll come with me on this journey into the biblical roots of the dark night of the soul.